What's up internet, Don here from DonDoes30.com bringing you another hacking tutorial and this time we're going to be taking a look at Armitage which is a GUI front end to Metasploit. Now if you haven't already watched my tutorial on how to set up Metasploit and get the database running I would highly suggest you guys doing that first before trying to open up Armitage just because like I said this is a front end to a Metasploit back end meaning it uses all the same modules but uh, makes your life a little bit easier, especially because the one of the most common questions I keep getting is, okay, let's scan it, or how do I scan a network, right? If I'm on a network, how do I scan for other devices? Now, if you're not familiar with Nmap, it makes it a little bit tough. On the other hand, I get, okay, I've scanned it. I know what the operating system is. Now, how do I find exploits for that particular system? Now, what Armitage is going to do, it's going to narrow down both of those for you in an easy to easy to do point and click type of environment. The issue is, is that I'm not a big GUI guy. I like the command line. I think there's an old saying out there that for every time you click on something within a GUI, you're leaving out three or four command line options or some shit like that. I don't know. Google the Google the quote. Anyway, let's go ahead and bring up Armitage. We're going to go to Applications, Kali Linux. Uh, exploitation tools, I believe. Uh, network exploitation and Armitage. Now, of course, you could go ahead and in, into a terminal and just type in Armitage and hit enter. But um, for the first time, I think in almost any tutorial, I've been I use the uh, use the uh, menu. All right, so it's going to ask you to connect. This is your local host, local port, user, and password, which should already be set up. Um, through the through the Metasploit setup, so don't even worry about it. Uh, if you ran the Metasploit setup and hit connect, and it's going to start a server. Hit yes, and it's going to take a minute to load. Now it's going to go through the progress. Don't worry about any of the connection refused. It'll still connect. Java, is, I believe, in Kali Linux is disabled for security purposes, so there's no issues. So once this comes up, first we're going to do is scan. Our network for computers and it should list every computer that's on the network I have quite a bit um, so we'll see which ones come up and then we're going to take a look at how to find vulnerabilities or exploits uh, for that particular system okay now it did take a little bit longer than what the video is going to show you because I cut out some of the dead air or the dead parts as it's loading so don't worry about that if it's taken longer than what mine did uh, just know that I cut cut out portions that are not useful. Now you're going to see on the left hand side we have the auxiliary, the exploits, the payloads, the posts. This is everything from Metasploit. So if you want to actually check out just what uh, all Metasploit has to offer you could just scroll through these. Uh, there's an Android Android exploits that we're going to get into in another tutorial. And then you got Firefox, Linux, Windows. So you could check some of these out, but that's not really the purpose of the tutorial today. What we're going to do first, go up to Hosts, Nmap Scan. And I'm going to start out with just a quick scan, OS Detect, meaning it's just going to do a quick scan of my network and detect what operating system it's using. So go ahead and click on that. And we're going to enter the range. Now this is important because your range might be different than mine. So we're going to pull up our trusty IF config, and I am on 192.168.10. That's my computer here, the Linux, uh, Kali Linux machine, but what we're going to do is do 192.168.10.0 slash 24, and this indicates that it's going to scan for every computer between 0 and 255. So we'll hit enter and the Nmap scan is off. Okay, so our scan is complete and again if you look it actually took about 65 seconds to complete the scan and I went ahead and just cut out the video so again if it's not as quickly as you're seeing in the video it's just because I'm editing it. But let's take a look at the systems that we found on the um, the network. So we've got the router, right? That's our gateway which um, actually we're not going to perform any exploits against so what I'll do is just remove that host but uh, what's interesting is we've got uh, three other computers on the network. We've got, um, if you hover over, I believe if you hover over, uh, we've got a Windows XP machine, Windows 7, and Windows 2008. So what I'm going to do 
is now to find exploits against these systems, go ahead up to attacks, find attacks, and what it's going to do is it's going to query all the exploits in this database to find the ones that are relevant against these particular systems. And it's going to create a list for us that we could go through and see which ones we might be able to use. All right, so the attack analysis has been complete, and you'll see an attack menu attached to each, each host. So we'll hit OK. Let's start with the Windows XP machine. We go to the attack menu now, and here's exploits that you could run against the Windows XP machine that might work. Now we know this one works because we've used it several times in the past for most of our tutorials. But uh, look at this, we found a couple of other ones that might work. Now same, things, same thing for the Windows 7 machine, go ahead and click it, right click attack. And we've got some exploits as well listed. And we'll see this. Now all of them look pretty similar. Um, you know, out of the 1400 or so exploits, it's really narrowed it down to this. And what I want to do, I'm just going to exploit the Windows XP machine like we always have. Now, I already know that these two machines are patched for the attack that we're going to do and the attack that we've used in the past, but I know the XP machine is still vulnerable. And what I want to show you here is important because when we go and click on the exploit that we want to use, not only does it give us a lot of information about the exploit itself, but it prefills the information that we would normally have to type in. So usually in previous tutorials we had to type in the L host, which is your local computer, and we had to type in the remote host, which is the remote computer. But this already prefills everything, so that's pretty cool. Again, if you want to know more about the exploit, here's some information. Um, I always leave it to auto-targeting, and we're going to launch this particular exploit against that Windows XP machine. Now I want you to watch what happens when we get a successful exploitation to run and the machine is owned. Boom, it changes to lightning. All right, So that means that this machine is now compromised. We are able to do whatever we want to it as we have in the past. And uh, what I want to show you is we'll go ahead and click. There's a interpreter session. Let's go ahead and um, interact with that. We could get a interpreter shell here at the bottom. And this is exactly what we've had in the past. So this is combining the Metasploit information with a GUI interface. This is really basic introduction to Armitage. I'm going to get into more details about how to run different things against it. Um, this is really good for you newbies out there who want to take a look at maybe, uh, let's see what a, let's see what this exploit does, right? Let's just check it. So this will give you an idea on um, what could possibly work. And I'll tell you what, I'm just going to run this just to see if it works. I'm sure it's not going to. Um, I think the system is patched enough to where it won't, but uh, let's see if it does so that we get uh, more than one. Anyway, even if we don't, um, you know, just take a look at the exploits that you could use against certain systems and go from there. You know, don't stop learning. Just uh, we're going to or I'm going to come up with some other tutorials to show you on Armitage here in the future. And I've got another couple of tutorials set coming up. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon.